hey guys, we um, we don't waste any time on this channel, so let's just jump into it. So an even function is symmetric about the y-axis. So if you know what a function looks like, you can determine right away that it's even if it's symmetric about the y-axis. So in this case, the f of x is equal to absolute value of x. You know what that looks like. It's just a v, and it's symmetric about the y-axis, so it's even. Other examples are like parabolas like this that um, are centered about the y-axis, or like it doesn't have to be a polynomial. It could be like sine of x. I lied. Cosine of x. <laughs> Cosine of x. It looks like this, right? And symmetric about the y-axis. All right, so moving swiftly along. Um, if you don't know what it looks like, then you use this definition that says if f of negative x is equal to f of x, then uh, it's even. So we'll do an example in a little bit to clear that up, but that's the, that's the definition. So it's kind of like if you plug in x and you plug in negative of x, you get the same output up here. So f of x equals f of negative x. An odd function's weird because the symmetry doesn't make any sense to me. A, a, a function's odd if it's symmetric about the origin, but I was always taught that like you need to have a line of symmetry. Um, so here's the best I can offer you to understand what symmetric about the origin means. If you take the right half of the graph, so everything to the right of the y-axis, so in this case, this is this function is f of x equals x cubed. So if you take the right half of the graph and you rotate it 180 degrees about the origin and it lines up with the graph on the left of the y-axis, then it's symmetric about the origin. So imagine taking this part right here, rotating it, you know, 180 degrees. As it comes around, after you hit 180 degrees, it lines up with the left half of the function. So it's symmetric about the origin. And that's, so this is my mnemonic. That's really odd, right? The symmetry there is really odd. So that's how you can look at a graph and determine if it's odd. But if you're just given the function, you don't know what the graph looks like, you use this definition. If f of, if f of negative x is equal to negative f of x, then, uh, then it's odd. So if you can like pull out the negative sign, then it's an odd function. So let's do an example. So here we have a function, negative three x to the fourth plus six x squared minus nine. We don't know right away what that looks like. So we can't test the symmetry. So we're gonna use these two definitions here. So the process is always the same. You just plug in negative x everywhere you see an x and you see what you get. So Let's find, so given f of x, let's find what f of negative x is. We'll plug in negative x everywhere there's an x. So simplifying, we have negative x to the fourth, that's an even power. So this just becomes positive x to the fourth, plus six, same thing here, negative x squared is just x squared, and then minus nine. So, so what do you notice? f of negative x equals this thing, which is the same as f of x. So after you do your simplifying, after plugging in negative x, you get the same original function. So we can say f of x is equal to f of negative x. Well, that's this right here. Didn't mean to cross it out. That's this, which is the definition of an even function. And then an odd function, you would do the same thing. So let's check. So here's another function. Let's see if this is odd. And we'll check. We don't know what it looks like just given the function, so we can't check the symmetry. So let's check by plugging in. Remember I said the process is always the same. You just plug in negative x. So let's find what f of, f of negative x is. So in this case, we get negative x cubed is, uh, then it doesn't, it's an odd exponent, so the negative stays there. And then plus x squared plus negative x squared. It's an even exponent, so this, the negative goes away, and then plus one. So here's f of negative x, and here's f of x, are they equal to each other? No, they're not. So it's not an even function. And is f of negative x equal to negative f of x? 
Well, let's see, what is negative f of x? It would be the same as f of x, but all the signs are different. So if we do negative 1 times f of x, negative 1 times this polynomial, you distribute the negative sign, so it's like negative x cubed minus x squared minus 1, which isn't equal to f of negative x. Do you see? We would need to have we would need to have this be a negative sign and this be a negative sign. So in this case, the function, this original function here, is neither either, even, nor odd. So functions don't have to be one of the two. It's possible for a function to be neither. So this doesn't have any symmetry. Well, I wouldn't be so quick to say that because I am not a math major. But it doesn't have symmetry about the origin or the y-axis, so it's neither even nor odd. Um, all right, this was a really uh, scatterbrained video, but I hope it clears things up. I had fun making it, and I hope you had fun watching it.